Years after its birth, the device that inspired dozens of copycat smart speakers and thousands of integrations is ready for a makeover. Amazon's all-new Echo is smaller, cheaper, and promises better sound than before. But with all the competition today and even more in the pipeline, the second-generation Echo needs to prove it's worth your money. Compared to the older Echo, the new speaker is pretty squat. The previous Echo was like a tall glass of water, while this year's model is more like a beer mug. It's shorter and wider and has a fabric covering instead of the previous version's metallic exterior. Amazon offers six interchangeable shells for the new Echo, including a lighter fabric, light and dark wood veneers, as well as a shiny silver metallic case. I'm not a fan of the default black cloth cover, but at least there are attractive alternatives. There's not much else to say about the design here. You'll still find the same blue light ring near the top of the speaker that indicates when the Echo is listening to you or what the volume is set to. Buttons at the top let you toggle volume or the microphone by hand if you can't or don't want to speak. Alexa, are you smarter than the Google Assistant? While Amazon's Assistant will give you a very politically correct answer, which is, I like all AIs, the actual answer is yes. I've had both a Google Home speaker and the new Echo side by side in my apartment for a few days, and in general, Alexa is better at understanding my commands. I like to have my chill at home playlist in the background when I get home or getting ready for work, but I get sick of hearing the same few songs in the same order all the time. To shuffle songs and skip to the next track after I put the playlist on, I usually have to tell Google to shuffle and skip in two separate commands. With Alexa, I just have to say, Alexa, shuffle and skip. Or, Alexa, play my chill at home playlist on shuffle. Also, Alexa is better at dredging up songs I haven't recently heard from my 400 track playlist than the Google Home, which seems to just pick from the same 25 songs in the collection. Amazon highlights the Echo's music playing smarts and audio quality, saying the speaker uses Dolby processing for crisp vocals and dynamic bass response, in addition to a 2.5-inch woofer and 0.6-inch tweeter. That all sounds great on paper, but in reality, the new Echo sounds flat. Vocals are indeed crisp, but music in general lacks bass, and instruments tend to fade into the background. As much as I prefer Alexa as a DJ, I find myself playing music through the home instead. It just sounds much better. The new Echo has seven microphones and noise cancellation so it can hear you better. And based on my testing, it does that well. I was most impressed by how the speaker can hear me over the music it is playing, something the Google Home struggles with. Amazon speaker can also hear me from a distance, even when I was in another room facing away from it. SN Assistant Alexa is very capable. Not only can she control my smart home devices, like turning my lamps on and off, but she can also take notes, make shopping lists, buy stuff on Amazon, and more. I added bread to your shopping list. I particularly appreciate Alexa's ability to answer follow-up questions as if she were carrying a real conversation. When I asked for movie suggestions in my area, she not only told me what films were playing, but also asked me what theaters and timings I preferred. I could ask follow-up questions, and Alexa generally answered accurately. I can also use the Echo to call and send messages to other Alexa-enabled devices. I had fun chatting with my colleague Chris Velasco, who received my dictated messages as both texts and audio files. Alexa's speech recognition isn't always very accurate, though. It translated, does it work, to was at work. My favorite thing about Alexa, though, is her funny personality. I asked her how she was doing one day, and she replied, saying she had been thinking about a friend lately. Her response was somewhat rambly, almost making it seem like I was talking to a real person. I also liked how, when I asked her what's up, she gave me the breakdown of my day and ended it with, that's what's up. Little touches like that go a long way to make Alexa feel conversational and real. Ultimately, the new Echo's biggest problem is its subpar audio quality. Those who want a smart speaker with better sound have plenty of options, whether it is the more expensive Sonos One and Echo Plus, or buying an Echo Dot to add to an existing superior speaker. But for those who just want an Alexa-enabled speaker that looks good and hears you well, the second-generation Echo is a well-rounded, affordable option.